Hello and welcome. This is the second of four Institute for Leadership Studies mini lectures um, that are sponsored by the Institute um, at LMU. I'm Michael Genevy, star of stage, screen, and television, and I'm the president or director of the, the Institute for Leadership Studies. Today I want to talk about study abroad. Of all the things you could do in your time at LMU, the thing that you'll get the most benefit out of, the most value added, is study abroad. Some of you think I can't do it, I can't afford it, I can't take time off. Give me a few minutes. There are a lot of different options. Some of them might work for you. But if at all possible, do please try to study abroad. Of all the students who come back from study abroad, and I've been leading groups for almost 30 years from LMU to London and elsewhere, the one thing that students say on coming back is this was the most transformational thing of my time at LMU. And that word transformational is a key. It will transform or change you. It will help you grow. Um, you will be tested by being in, living in a different country, in a different place, with different people and different customs. Um, you're out of your comfort zone. It is the most important and valuable thing you can do while at LMU. Um, and so, let me give you a few ideas that might help you to make some choices. First, I want to talk about the LMU London Semester Program. It's a London Semester and Internship Program. It was created by the Institute for Leadership Studies. And it's fall or spring semester, a full academic load, you also have an internship capacity, and that's one of the key values of the London program. It is with a group, an organization we've been with for over 20 years called the Foundation for International Education, located in South Kensington, one of the nicest areas of London. They provide housing, and so about 25 LMU students go in the fall and then in the spring. You'll take a full academic load, most of your academic work is front-loaded, that is to say it's in the first half of the semester. The second half you do an internship. Where do you do an internship? Depending on your major and your interests, almost anywhere. Uh, on that program, it's university, open to university-wide, and so some accounting students, some art students, some film students, every major has internships in London that would accommodate, be accommodating. For political science students, you can work in the party, the political party, you can work in the parliament, you can work for an interest group, you can work for Amnesty International. You, the, the list is endless. What's so great about this program? Number one, you're studying abroad. Number two, the language is English, almost like our English. Number three, you're with a group, like a family of LMU students. So you've got that support mechanism built in Four, there's an LMU faculty member with you on the program. Five, London is one of the world's great cities. Um, and six, internship. Internships are incredibly valuable. Most employers want you to have at least one, sometimes two. Um, and also you're in London, as I mentioned. Um, and so in the middle of the semester, you have a week off. So you have the two weekends in the week. Um, that's when students tend to go Paris for a week or sometimes Italy, wherever. Um, and some kids, you know, uh, supplement that by maybe one weekend trip in the beginning of the semester, maybe to say to Scotland, which you can do in a weekend. Next, at the end of the semester, you do something in maybe Dublin. Again, you can do that in a weekend. But the London program is, is a full academic load, so you, you don't fall behind. Plus, you get that internship experience, an international internship experience, unbelievably valuable. The second program I want to talk about is, okay, you say you can't do a semester because you've got sports or you've got your sorority or fraternity or whatever. How about summer? The Institute created an Oxford Scholars Program. Every summer, it's four weeks, it is housed at the Queen's College, one of the constituent colleges. There are a lot of phony Oxford programs that just say study at Oxford. This is actually studying at Oxford University, one of the great universities of the world. Uh, and there is a cachet to studying at Oxford. 
uh, it's the kind of thing where for the rest of your life, at a cocktail party or a dinner party, you can always go, you know, I remember that summer I studied at Oxford, or I remember when I studied at Oxford University. People will be impressed. Um, it's also four weeks, so it's a, it's a, a shorter amount of time. You take two academic courses, um, and it's just a wonderful experience. Again, transformational. Uh, a third program I want to mention is the Washington DC study program. We're affiliated and we've been with them for almost 30 years, the Washington Center. Uh, they provide housing in Washington DC, fall, spring, or summer. Um, you take uh, an academic course in the evening and you intern four days a week while you're in DC. Where do you internship? Anywhere in DC. So you're an IR major, State Department, uh, Commerce Department, International Trade Office, CIA, Defense Department, with the uh, Arab American League, with the Palestinian uh, Organization, with the and with Amnesty International's office, with uh, climate change groups, with race civil rights groups, um, Congress of Racial Equality, the Black Caucus, uh, Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Incredible opportunities for you in Washington D.C. And if you're a political science or IR major please do try to go to Washington. Again, it's fall, spring, or summer, you get academic credit. And you're still saying, well, I'm still, uh, I can't take a whole summer off, I gotta work. The Washington Center also has short mini programs for about five days, um, usually in January and May, on things like national security policy, politics in the Middle East, conflict resolution, uh, political campaigning, and so, you know, if, you, if all you can do is a short trip, try to do that. Um, there's one last program that the Institute for Leadership Studies sponsors. It is the most competitive. We select one student for the fall, one for the spring, and it's called the Hansard Fellowship. Hansard is the equivalent, the British equivalent of our congressional record. And we've been doing this for almost 30 years. We've sent students in the fall and spring. You intern in the British House, of, British House of Commons. In the past, students have also taken two courses at the London School of Economics, but with COVID, the Hansard Society eliminated the program for a couple of years. We don't know when it's gonna be back at full force, but even if it isn't at full force, we will still be sending students to London to intern in the House of, uh, Houses of Common, House of Commons with a member of parliament. Um, it's a full, scholarship program. So it's very competitive. 2.9 students, please don't apply. Only the very best are selected. Um, and again, for IR majors or political science majors, incredibly useful. We'll pay you your airfare round trip, your housing, uh, and some expenses. So it's an incredible opportunity. All of these programs that I've mentioned uh, either can be uh, looked at directly, like the Washington Center, or the study abroad, contact the study abroad office and if you, if you can't afford the programs, one of the things I insisted on when I set up these programs is that we have to have scholarships available for students who can't afford to go, don't want to exclude them. Uh, and so the Institute for Leadership Studies has what's called Fitzgerald Scholarships. They don't pay for the whole program, but, but they can help. Scholarship applications will be available, as will many other applications, Hansard, etc., in the Institute for Leadership Studies office, that's 4122 in University Hall, or 4123 next door in my office. They'll be available starting by the time you see these, these videos. Um, I started this short mini lecture by talking about how transformational study abroad is. I wanna underline that again. There's nothing you will do at LMU that'll benefit you more that study abroad. Please consider it. Please try to build it into your program and bring your friends along. You'll have the time of your life and you'll learn more than you've ever learned and you'll grow more than you've ever grown. Thank you so much and we'll see you in the next mini lecture.